Hey guys, my name is Craig and today I want to show you how to create this awesome 3D dragon. He looks like he follows you around the room and he will amaze all your friends or colleagues. So let's get started. First of all, head down to the link below and you can download this template for free which has everything that you need to get started. The tools we'll need today are a pair of scissors, a ruler, double-sided tape, and a blunt instrument to score our paper. I'll be using this little knife. Now that we have our dragon printed out, I want to quickly show you two very simple origami folds that we'll be using. First is a mountain fold where the top of the paper becomes almost like the letter A where you can touch the top. Therefore, the paper edges are folding downwards so that we have a peak. With a valley fold, valley folds is where we can run our finger into the fold. So the two pieces of paper move upwards. Great stuff guys. Now, before we get going to cut around our dragon, what I'd like us to do is score the paper for when we'll be folding at a later stage. The valley, this first valley fold runs through the entire head so let's go ahead and score that. Another valley fold running underneath his nostrils. A mountain fold which runs just below his eyes. This valley fold, you'll see a little white dot right there. It goes from the white dot above his two eyes and guys that's essentially it around the head there are a few little mountain folds at the bottom so let's quickly go ahead and quickly score those Fantastic. Now that we have all our folds scored, we're going to cut around the edges. You can do this with your scissors. If you need help, please ask your parents to help you cut it out. I'm going to quickly cut that out and get back to you in a sec. Awesome. So guys, I've, I've cut around the dragon and I just want to show you guys how we are going to fold the head, which is one of the most exciting and important parts of this little 3D dragon. So as we can see here, we have a valley fold running above his eyes, a mountain fold underneath his eyes, a valley fold by his nostrils and a valley fold running through his entire head over here. So, let's go ahead and do those folds. Now, this was a valley fold over here, which goes down. Above, uh, underneath his eyes is a mountain fold. By his nostrils becomes the valley fold. And a long valley fold running through his head and creating valley folds of, of the A, B, and C tabs. Now these tabs are super important. How they work is, tab C, the shortest tab, will fold behind this edge over here. Tab B, the longest fold, will go through above his, um, his mouth, this long area here. And tab A folds back and creates a um, continuation of his mouth and his teeth. So it folds back to over here. Basically, what happens is tab C will go behind that area, as we said. The long tab B 
folds along this entire length here and tab A folds underneath so that it creates that angle underneath there. Now to stick those together what I use is double sided tape which is it works the best and I usually put another piece of paper underneath just so that it makes it nice and easier to tape. So let's go ahead and get that done with a double sided tape. Once we have the double sided tape stuck nicely on, let's pull the pieces off. Like that. So let's fold them carefully behind. Tab C as we saw earlier goes behind over there the long tab B folds nicely behind there and tab A goes snugly over there once we have the head done we can make these different folds These are all, as you can see, mountain folds, so they're all coming upwards. Once that is done, we can just tape up the edges over there. Well, that's it guys. Thank you so much. I hope you had lots of fun building your 3D dragon. For lots of other tips and cool things to do, visit kingsgame.net. Otherwise, check the links below. If you want to chat to me, please get hold of me. Otherwise, have an awesome time. Thank you. Bye-bye.